that you're going out. You can even use this if you're going out at night. Um, sorry that my lighting is a little off. <laughs> I've been fighting with the sun today, I guess. Um, anyways, so I really hope you like this look and yeah, let's get to it. Bye. Chimbala produciendo. We're going in with Urban Decay Primer Potion, the original formula, and you're just going to prime your lids. The primer is going to act as the base for the shadow, add vibrancy to it, as well as keep it on all day, preventing any creasing or any grease lines that you may see. Then I'm going to just take my concealer brush, and that's going to be what I'm going to use for my eyeshadow, with a little bit of spray water, or water will be fine, or Visine. And we're going to intensify the color we're using right now, which is Rose Pigment by MAC. It's this beautiful red, pink, gold, sparkly deliciousness. <laughs> And when you wet it, you have this beautiful, almost purple undertone with it, so it's really, really unique. And I just really wanted to intensify it and give this a metallic feel. to the outer corner. This is a great tip for beginners so you can never mess it up and it's going to get that sharp beautiful edge in a second. So the next color that we're going to be taking is Makeup Geek's Burlesque Eyeshadow which is beautiful dark red maroon color and we're going to take it on the outer V bringing it slightly into the crease and then we're just going to take a round crease brush um, this the one that I'll be using is from Morph E Brushes, and I'm just going to really buff it into the crease, and in mostly circular motions, that way it really diffuses the colors and there's no harsh edges. Esto para los tiguerones, mujeres tiguerones. Y para los urbano, con los pies, 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 así que baila con los pies, con los pies, con los pies, así que baila con los pies, con los pies, con los pies, con los pies. After you successfully buffed out both colors, we're going to go in with MAC, Creme de Violet which is this beautiful purple with a pink undertone, and we're going to put that right into the crease, going pretty much towards the brow, because I really want this to be this beautiful pop to really bring out the purple undertones in this red pigment, this rose pigment, excuse me. After you've completed that, you're going to be going in with Max Sketch, which is a deep, deep purple with a brown undertone, and you're just going to put that in the outer V. You're not bringing it into the crease, and then once again, you're going to go in with a clean, fluffy brush that we used earlier, and you're going to buff that out as well. So that way you have like these gradients of colors and darkness. So 
it's like this sexy prettiness. Um, well, I really just wanted a hint of it so it can have this nice sultry feel to it. And yeah, that is it. Now for our brow bone highlight, I'm going in with MAC Vanilla Eyeshadow. I'm going to put it at the peak of the brow and blend down. And I'm going to also blend it in with Crems of Violet so that it gives this a soft purple sheen. And this is what you should have at this point. Very, very easy eye to do. There's minimal blending required. Now we're going to be going in with NYC's Liquid Eyeliner in black, and I'm just going to do a cat eye. You're still going to leave that tape on because, you guys, if you guys are terrible at a cat eye, this will always, always give you a perfect cat eye, so you can be kind of sloppy with it, and it'll still be perfect. Now you're just going to remove that tape and BAM! Perfect, perfect cat eye. <laughs> so now I'm just going to show you how I do my eyelashes fast forward motion. I do this in all my videos, so yeah. <laughs> but this is really going to enhance the look when I'm going in with La um, by Lady Moss. And these are the Coco line in 101, so very similar to 43s. And I'm just going to put in the center, the outer corners, and then I'm going to press on the other side with the tweezers just to really press it into the skin. Now going in with Stila's Perfect and Correct Foundation in Light, I'm going to build this up to a medium coverage. This is a great foundation. It has HD foundation, blurs the imperfection of in large pores, fine lines, hydrating, you name it, it does it. <laughs> now I'm going in with uh, CoverGirl Superstay Concealer in Fair, and I'm going to use it to highlight as well as conceal, so I'm going to do it in that triangular motion, and blending it out with a crown pointed tapered kabuki brush. Ugh, I can't think of it. <laughs> so you're just going to highlight, you're going to do it down the bridge of the nose, center of the forehead, Cupid's bow, as well as the chin. What you want to do this for any special occasion or prom or anything because you want to bring light to the face. You want to add a dimensional feel as well as really elongate it and look um, very sensual. And then I'm just going to take what the areas I did and I'm going to set the makeup with a setting powder. And just in my T-zone and under the eyes where I get oily. So if you're oily, I suggest you do this. And if you're oily, do it all over the face. For me, I'm dry, so I'm just doing it in the areas I need. Now going in with Rimmel of London's Natural Bronzer in Sun Bronze. And you're going. To, I'm using it to contour. So with this, you're going to just layer and layer to the desired amount you want. Now remember, for photos, you need to add a lot more makeup than you normally will because it will not show up on camera. You will look ghostly so I am adding a lot of layers of bronzer so that I can get that contoured really defined look for the photos now going in with Stila's convertible color blush or lip and cheek I should say lip and cheek stain in camellia and I'm going to act as the base for the color I'm about to use which is Milani's blush in luminoso the reason you want to put cream blush down first and then the blush on top is because it really will set the um, powder blush all together and keep it on all day with that as a quick tip it'll leave it on for about a 10 hour wear believe it or not awesome I know <laughs> So just quick makeup, makeup artist tips, and this is what you should have. Then going in with the Bombs Mary Lou highlighter, I'm going to put it around the center of the forehead, cupid's bow around the eyes, and you know, 
you know the deal. You guys see this all the time. And what this is going to do again, just really give you this dewy, refreshed face. It looks really beautiful on camera. It gives you this nice, beautiful glow, especially for brides. Now for our lips, I kept it very simple. I'm going in with Revlon's Prim Rose Lipstick, which I don't know why it looks very purple on camera. It's actually very pink. Weird, I know. And to top it off with the gloss that matches perfectly is NYX Butter Lip Gloss in Eclair. And that's it for the lips. Now we're just going to finish off the eyes. I'm going back in with Max. Uh, sketch eyeshadow with that same brush I used earlier and I'm just gonna put it all the way from the outer lash line all the way towards the mid to the beginning and then I'm just gonna go in with that crease brush and blend it out so that way I have a very nice smoky feel and doesn't look like liner it looks like a nice shadow smoky sexiness and then for inner corners I went in with Mary Lou highlighter and I just popped it in just to add light to the center of the eyes and really give that an elongated feel and very flirty kind of sultry feel. And now with Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Perversion, we're going to tight line as well as put it in our waterline to just give it a more sexy, sultry look. This is completely optional, you guys. You really didn't have to do this if you wanted to keep your eyes big and just very um, romantic. Could have left it alone, but I wanted a little bit of a more evening look, so I added it. And once you're done with that, you're just going to add a coat of mascara to your lashes tops and bottoms normally of course I say don't add it to your lashes because you messed it up but for pictures and stuff like this you need to make it intensify otherwise it doesn't look like you have anything on so I'm using baby dolls mascara from Yves Saint Laurent and here is your completed look you guys I really hope you liked it and please subscribe bye booze